Holes of depression that you once made me occupy. It be so sublime, a price that fits the crime. Get a taste of what you taste. Right. Okay, we have the L train here. Now, I'm sure you get so many comments about L train. Who lives off of the L train in your band? Uh, Gary used to live off the L train. Used to. Used to. Yes, yes. Gabriel, used to. Used and, to. and where you're not on the L train anymore, so you just no. took the train and ran. Yeah, like. So, are uh, you a train bandit? Train robber yes, or something yeah, like that? Maybe. Yeah. Um, but I. I uh, lived on the L train since I was. I, I I would basically say I lived on the L train since I was 15 years old because uh, I lived in Ridgewood, and uh, all I did was take the train to school, to work, home, L train, work. Now school, I home. always feel when I'm on that L train that I I'm underdressed. <laughs> I, I feel never hip enough to be on that L train yeah, ever exactly. since Williamsburg exploded, right? Yeah. So like. Do, do, what do you feel like? Do you feel you have to be the biggest hipsters in the world to be called L Train, or are you like saying F U L Train, or are you saying like you know? I feel like we're just going to definitely have my answer. Go ahead. All right. You hear your answer first. Oh gosh. All right. Well, um, the whole thing about hipsters and the L Train is that um, you don't know who is the hipster and who isn't. They're all a mystery. They all keep. They're all very uh, to themselves. They, they go on the train wearing the most ridiculous things. It, they, it's like High watching fashion. 10 Lady Gagas. Yeah. Yes. yeah. But but they're not there to say hi. They're just there to, for you to look at them. You think? Yeah. So you think they just stay on the train and they just go back and forth on the L train and they don't get it, off? Well, it seems that way. On so Union Square in so, Bedford. You think? I, I'm so, I'm so, I was so fascinated as a kid, me and Cristala. Uh, Where'd you guys grow up? Yeah, introduce your name. Say your name. I'm Cristala. I'm Gabriel. Now, Cristala, what kind of name is this? It's actually a Greek name. I'm oh, so Greek. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So, yeah. Ime Michalis. Oh, I don't know that word. Ime. Ime. David, you're full. Ime. On live TV, David, you're full. Oh, my funny. gosh. So, um. You don't know how to say that? It's, I'm Michael. Oh, okay. She obviously <laughs> just knows uh, Tejanes Kala. I probably am not Greek enough. Oh, it's Greek to me. Greek. Anyway, um, oh, yeah. so, yes. say your name again? Cristala. 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 Yeah. So, do you like Uzo? Not really. It's kind of gross, isn't it? Yeah. I know. Have you been to Greece? Yes, I actually have. A few years ago, four years ago, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Beautiful. I, I have been. And you are? I'm half Colombian and half Puerto Rican. And a hundred percent crazy, and a hundred percent I love salsa. hundred percent I love rice and beans. A hundred percent. Do you mean salsa, like the food or the dance? No, no, the dance. The uh, dance. Yeah. yeah. And like salsa, and I like rice and beans. That's well, I can I say ask. salsa, but then I'll keep on going. Are you are do, are you a good dancer? Maybe no. we should get you to dance with James. No. Uh, I, I don't. I don't, I don't know dancer. about that one. I'm I don't know about that. But well, dancing, my, my well, dancing shouldn't be gender or ethnic. I mean, my, yeah. my family, like, uh, we all uh, either you did musical theater or you were in a cumbia band, like a Colombian uh, traditional music band. So uh, I never got into the dancing thing, but all I did was music my whole life. And How'd you guys meet? High school. We met in high school. Where? Uh, Bryant High School in Astoria. I was going to say Queens because, first of all, uh, Everyone in Astoria is extremely Greek, though, isn't it? Yeah, yes. definitely. Yeah. Definitely a lot of Greeks in Astoria. Yeah, it's known for that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you met in high school, yeah. and when did L Train start? Beginning it's of such this a year. long story. It, it, it started this year, but um, I was actually doing theater before this, and Gabriel was doing his own band stuff. I was doing my theater, and we met in high school, and um, we were performing then, but then I fell in love with theater, and I was like, you know what? Even though we really connect musically, I want to do this theater thing, and we kind of parted ways, but we still kind of worked it with each other, and we created a song called On the Train Together, and we were just Perfect. like, wow. Yeah, and it was before we actually had the name ah. L Train, so it was really weird, like this um, obsession with like New York City, and Gabriel started taking like this uh, uh, class in college about New York, and that's when it started coming. Like he really wanted to write a play about it, and he's like, "Oh, maybe you could be in the play." But then um, 
I know this year we, we played together and it, it just seemed like it clicked. Yeah, it just clicked. We really uh, clicked musically, and I don't know. It's it's amazing. It's just amazing how. Well, I saw the video of Chain of Fools, and it's so ironic that you sent me that. No, it's it's. I mean, it's one of the best songs ever written. Yeah. But the funny thing is, is right after I saw it, like about ten minutes later, my daughter says to me, um, I think it was. Like about again, it's all about Amy Winehouse right now. We can yeah. do your hair like her too. This is the <laughs> Amy Winehouse show. Giggity. Thank God. Anyway, but like my daughter was looking up because you know it's Mark Ronson does Amy Winehouse, and she said, "Do you know Duffy also was Mark Ronson produced?" Mm -hmm. And she said that the Duffy song, "All It Is, Mom," is a, a version of Chain of Fools, and and sh and she's playing me the Chain of Fools. And the Duffy song, like back to back, to show me that it's the same. I'm like, I can't believe you're doing that because I just saw Chain of Fools by L Train, and you did an amazing version. Thank I mean, you. you are just so adorable. I mean, do people just go to Gaga over her? Yes, it makes a lot of problems for me. <laughs> are you a romantic entity? Yes. Oh, so you're high school sweethearts? Yeah. Do you have a question for them? <laughs> No. You're speechless. <laughs> You're so speechless. So I, I, I wanted to talk about, like, um, uh, I guess how we got together, the whole idea. Um, a lot of people make bands. I think most people make bands out of a philosophy or, or an idea outside of their hometown or outside of what's the regular. And uh, since, uh, since we've been what are 14, 15, 16, I've, I've been thinking of a band name for years. Like, what could I make that would be cool? Like Pink Floyd or Led Zeppelin or Green Day. Like, what, what could I make that's like a, some mystical thing? And again, like we used to take the L train so much that I was just like, I literally am forced to call my band L train because I don't know anything else except the L train. I was there for hours watching these people. You were there when us. humans actually ran the L train. Yes. Because now they don't. Yeah, yeah. It's a computerized train. It's like yeah. a, it's totally, um, it's, it's, it's a test. For New York, the L train. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the L train does have an image, mm -hmm. and it has a. It's definitely landmarky. Yeah. But um, and you guys have history on the L train. What's yeah. the naughtiest thing you guys ever did on the L train? Uh, <laughs> the naughtiest thing. No, I hug. <laughs> <laughs> That's not naughty. It is naughty. I don't think you've ever really hugged hug the right way. Can you hug me? Oh, we've actually played on the L train line yeah. before. Yeah. Music. Yes. We definitely have played a lot of music on those. So I see there's other members of L Train here yes. as well. Come on, David and, and Chris. Um, you guys yeah. ready to do a song? And, yeah. then, and then after the song, we're going to talk a little more, and each of you will share a skeleton from your closet. Excellent. And today is National Creme Brulee and National Scotch Day. Oh. So we have some creme brulee candy that you will dip into the scotch, and <laughs> that will be your little treat after um, you sing, you talk, and then... That's about that. Awesome. You guys ready? Can I have one little shout out for little brother? Yeah. Karina, Pico, eat. Because you guys never eat. What do okay? they eat? What do they like? They all they eat is pizza and french fries. What about mac and cheese? Oh, uh, no. We don't, uh, we don't have mac and cheese. We don't, we don't have mac and cheese in the Spanish house. It's like just rice and beans. But eat your rice and beans. Well, they might eat if they had. Okay. Dad, I love mac and cheese. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back with L Train. Yeah. Oh, my God. 